Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the door lock switch on your dishwasher. The door lock switch, or switches, are used to control power to the dishwasher controls. It's a really easy job to change. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to disconnect power to the dishwasher. So locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. The next, we're just going to open up the door. On this particular model, there are four screws across the top that we need to remove and then one below each of the corner ones that will release the control panel and give us access to get the part out. And just support that console to the door as we remove the last screw. And you should be able to just Manipulate that control panel enough to free it from the front panel and the inner door panel. And tilt it over. Now with the back of the control panel exposed, we're next going to remove this protective cover. There are usually some plastic tabs that secure that and there are often arrows to indicate where you need to release those tabs. And if you have difficulty accessing these two on the edge, just use a flat blade screwdriver. And just release them while you're pulling up on that cover. cover and set it aside. Now to change out the switch we're also going to need a 3 16 hex head nut driver and then we can pull that switch out of the housing. So next we'll remove that screw and then just unhook those wires from that little retainer at the back and we can lift that switch out of the bracket where we can remove the wires and if they're on there a little too snug just take your pliers and pry them off. And then discard the old switch. So next we'll reconnect the wires to the new switch. Make sure they're firmly attached. And we'll reposition it in the holder. We want to line up that opening on the switch with that little pin on the holder. Set it into position. Just root those wires in around that hook. And then reinstall the screw. Now we can put the protective cover back on. Make sure we engage all the tabs. Snap it in place. Now with that cover secure on those tabs, we can then just rotate that old console into the opening. Make sure it fits down over the front panel. And that the inner door panel fits inside the top of the housing. 
and then we can install the retaining screws. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.